is this 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 what's happening in america man well one for you american people what the fuck is going on in america can someone tell me what is happening over there is it is it because it's too warm um is this generally a thing that happens anyway what is the situation over there in the states where for some reason you guys have a very um adversatorial relationship with people who make food for you or with people who cut your hair or people who serve your drinks what is it over there in the states why do you why do i see so many videos of people arguing with people in dave and busters and wendy's in all these different places in the mcdonald's and the kfc and the taco bell what's up with in bars um you know especially when there's videos of people fighting in like the streets of like austin i think it is why are you guys always 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 arguing and fighting with people who make your food and this is a headline that's absolutely redacted nyc mcdonald's worker shot over cold fries police say cold fries he got shot over is that anything to get sh shot over really let's be honest there's many things that you should be getting shot over right maybe if you like you know if you get to like a chicken and chicken restaurant and like you order i don't know six hot wings and they give you two pieces of chicken instead that's something to fight over right um you wanted uh mayo in your burger and not ketchup that's something to fight over which is sick to do it if you put mayo in your burger you're an absolute sicko but there's some things that you should be fighting over i don't know they forgot your fries fair enough fight over it but somebody giving you cold fries shouldn't be a worthy option to fight or even to pull out a gun that's just a quick way to deal with it just to be like hey my fries are cold can you give me a new one please like it's all it takes it's just an easy conversation but for whatever reason in the states it's always like an affront when you get bad service it, it feels like for some reason you americans feel like it's a personal attack like the person did it to you it's like no nah, they could have just forgot or they could just be like thinking about other things like come on man anyway it continues a fight over cold fries led to the shooting of a brooklyn mcdonald's worker who is now fighting for his life a high wrecking police officer said on tuesday the 23 year old victim was um working at the fast food joint in 141 fulton street in bedford um actually you know what fulton if i'm not mistaken is that the place that Jesus and mirror talk about all the time on their podcast or when they used to do the podcast together fulton is that the hood that might explain why the, the kid got shot then, right? Because they always mention Fulton, Fulton. I hear it mentioned a lot on Amer on New York-based podcast and media type stuff. So maybe that's the reason. The woman was FaceTiming her 20-year-old son during the argument and the son soon stormed into the restaurant and began fighting with the employee, the source alleged. Imagine being on the phone to your mum and you get into such a mood that you want to fight somebody. I can't imagine it because when, you, when you're talking to your mum, you're usually on like cute time you're usually on like softy time you're not usually on like go time ready to fight somebody do you know what I mean the mum complained that her fries were cold the mum was on FaceTime with her son and he heard the dispute between her and the clerk the son and the clerk got into an, a dispute um inside and it went outside um that's when the woman's son allegedly whipped out a gun <laughs> and blasted the girl worker in the neck I'm not I shouldn't be laughing sorry it's just um automatic it's like a reflex i do when i've read something distressing that is fucking wild shooting somebody in the neck because they gave you cold fries obviously that's a kid down the floor thank god that they blurred out the flipping image the 24 year old work oh, fucking hell i feel like crying you shot someone over french fries said a witness who owns a local business another victim said the co-workers were around the victim they were on their phones and they were crying a man took out took off his shirt and put it on the neck to stop the bleeding the victim's right eye was swollen shut jesus christ so somehow you get shot in the neck and your eye gets swollen did that did that cut off a nerve or something oh fucking hell he couldn't talk the witness said a oh, tragic employee he was just shaking his chest was heavy he was still breathing but then when they put him on the stretcher the victim remained in a extremely condi critical condition his short family and friends wept and consoled each other on the steps of the hospital emergency room he's a good guy said the co-worker of the sports the employee said cut security in june we don't know why they don't test anything so yeah obviously this is a bad look on mcdonald's or whoever owns that franchise because they cut the security they you know because i guess it was just too much money and then as soon as they cut the security two months later a kid gets shot in the neck a single nine millimeter spent casing was recovered at the scene and a suspected shoot has been taken to custody police have said charges have yet to be filed but unfortunately and small update on this the kid died man the kid fucking died imagine that man working a shitty mcdonald's job 
for the mo for the for the only purpose of working those jobs is to get some money. That's the only reason you're working it. You're not really the majority of people that do those kind of jobs aren't doing it to walk to climb up the corporate ladder. I know because I've worked in the shitty bowling alleys where you basically serve people chicken nuggets and shit and hot dogs. So it's kind of the equivalent of doing this sort of stuff. So you do it only to maybe be in between jobs if you like got fired or something or you made got made redundant or you or you were moving or you're trying to you know progress your career and you're applying for other roles so it's they're just menial jobs they're not jobs you should ever take seriously you can jump between them from time to time you can get fired at one go to another it just doesn't really matter that much um and then to get shot over fries is just it's just, oh, John Vallis is saying um, Fulton is where Biggie is from. Okay, cool. Awesome. I, I knew I, I recognized Fulton, the name of it, from somewhere. Um, but yeah, the, the worker has passed away, man. Absolutely heinous. Um, it says here, yeah, Matthew Webb, 23, succumbed to his injuries after he was shot Monday morning outside of the Bedford, uh, whatever that name is, fast food um, restaurant where he worked. The attack has been deemed a homicide. The investigation remains ongoing. Michael Morgan, I'm 20 years old. Again, throwing your life away over fries. Imagine, you know, in prison, right? When they um when they do that thing about um reading your jacket or reading your papers or what you were in there for, and they have to ascertain if you're a snitch or if you're a kitty fiddler or something, or you rape somebody. Imagine they're reading through your 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 flipping docket and they're flipping reading through your charges and you're in for murder because somebody I, I guess it won't say why you killed a person it would just say murder but imagine word gets back to people in the jail that you're in or the prison that you're in that you're in there for flipping shooting somebody over cold fries 20 years of age it's one thing if you fought the person with your bare hands right and you know in the in the acts of fighting them you actually killed them actually because you punched them too hard and hit them on the floor but like shooting somebody is some pushy shit anyway because you know you're shooting them you're not fighting them anyone could do that and also it's cold fries like get that through your head cold fries michael morgan's already been charged with attempted murder and criminal possession of a loaded firearm oh yeah shit it's new york innit? it you're not allowed to have a gun anyway for blast web and anchor uh, it's his mum's uh his mum getting served um cold fries oh okay now i get what the why what happened so the so him and the mum are arguing Oh, no, he goes in there and he's with his mum. And I guess his mum is amping him up by, oh, how, how dare you? You can't talk to my son like that, I guess. And then somehow in that argument, that happens. Fuck. Oh, no, what? 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 Okay, go about to say. Um, he's better to uh, upgrade homicide charges. Prosecutors told the court hearings on Thursday, even before the Webb's family was confirmed. But yeah, thoughts and prayers out to flipping Matthew Webb's family and everybody connected with him. This must be a really trying time your family member passing away from flipping cold fries is flipping heinous. I hate everything about it. And I really want to know for my for my um, viewers out there who are in New York or in America, please explain to me what's going on out there. Is this a um is this a flipping consequence of like post pandemic blues? You know, like the economy is all fucked up, inflation, people don't have jobs and whatnot, and people are just on edge. Is it the heat? Like, what's happening in the States right now? What's going on? Why are you guys so flipping aggressive when it comes to um, people who work in service industry jobs, like shitty jobs on, meet, on you know, nominal amounts of money per hour? You should have more sympathy, especially if you worked there before. I know I have. I've worked in retail. I've worked in bars. I've worked in restaurants. Um, what is it, man? What is it? That's just NY, my guy. Okay, cool. People said that's just NY. Well, I imagine being that kind of mum that amps up your son to be the point where he shoots someone. Exactly, exactly. That's what I think happened, Kablu. I definitely think the mum added to it. Um, like, how dare he? What the fuck? What? No, no way. Or maybe they have a beef with that particular McDonald's in their area. Are oh, they always fucking over my old? I was there yesterday and they didn't. Did, did, did. <laughs> Mo, you're a cunt. A shortage of chicken tingers. <laughs> <laughs> I love how my chest always fucking roasting me. It's good. This I like this relationship. Do you know what I mean? Every time I try and get serious, my chat kind of reminds me <laughs> of who I am and what I am. Thank you. I appreciate. It. <laughs> what people saying? Make patches. Um, Kabu saying I just came in. This is so sad. Dax Cherik said, "What the fuck?" Um, to your glasses. Looks like you joined the biker gang. Oh, so I didn't explain the glasses. Sorry, I'm just testing out new glasses. These are some other ones I got as well. I'm probably going to put my white ones back on again because I don't think people enjoy these glasses too tough. They're a little bit too trendy or maybe look make me make me look uh, 
I look a little bit all lives matter with these glasses on, isn't it? It's giving all lives matter. It's giving listen to both sides. It's giving um, the cops also have a bad job, right? That's what it's giving, right? It's giving, you know, um, why was she wearing a short skirt? <laughs> That's what it's giving, right? It's giving men should be out there working, women women should be in the kitchen. It's giving that kind of vibes, isn't it? So I probably have to make sure I kind of change it, man. I really have to make sure I change it. Um, what are people saying here? I finally made a live chat after all this time. Big up Ags, London all the way from Thailand. Oh, big up Naughty Nomad. Thank you for tuning in, my friend. Big up you. Uh, Bobby Lee is trans now. Someone's saying here. King Getty is saying the gangsters and culture. It's gangsterism culture. I don't think it's gangsterism. I don't. I want this. I don't think this is a gangsterism issue. This must just be an issue of just like some people are saying. Maybe it's just in New York because it's just you know the, the 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 feelings come back there. Maybe it's just again the lack of employment, um, the lack of prospects. Um, maybe it's just the relationship the guy with, the people have there with service workers. I don't really know what's happening, but regardless, it's horrible.